Lesson 6.4, we're going to model with bar models for division. We can use bar models to solve division problems. Each section of the bar model, these are all the sections of the bar model, there's four of them, they represent a group and we'll show how many in each group. We can see down below here that there's 24 in all. We have four equal groups with six in each group. We have 24 in all divided by four groups, which equals six in each group. We can also write 24 in all divided by six in each group is equal to four equal groups. We can record division by writing a division equation in two ways. We can write it like a sentence. We have 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. This 24 is the dividend. It's the big number, isn't it? We have our division symbol. This 4 is called the divisor. And it's equal to 6. That's the answer, the quotient. We can also write it like this. This curve with a line coming across, that's the division symbol. Now our dividend is on the inside, our divisor is on the outside, and our answer, our quotient, is above the dividend. And because we have a 6, which is 6 ones, isn't it? It's over the 4 in the 24 because that's the ones place. See? So in a division equation in sentence form, this first number would be the dividend. It would be how many in all? We have our division sign, and we have a divisor that splits up the dividend. Our answer is the quotient. A bar model will help us to see if we are finding the number of equal groups or how many in each group. And a bar model will show us the relationship of the whole bar to part of the bar, and each part represents the same number. Now most of you know that I have three dogs. This is Lola, this is Betty, and that's Bonnie. I have 18 dog treats for my three dogs, and if each dog gets the same number of treats, how many treats will each dog get? So I want to make equal shares. I want to be fair and make sure they each get the same amount. We can use 18 counters for the 18 dog treats, and we can put it in three circles for three dogs. We're going to put one counter at a time into each circle, taking turns, until we use all 18. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We can see they'll each get six dog treats. We made three equal groups of six from the 18 dog treats. A bar model can show how the parts of a problem are related. And we can complete a bar model to show 18 dog treats divided into three equal groups. So there's 18 dog treats in all. That's the length of the bar. I have my three dogs, Betty, Bonnie, and Lola, all here, Bonnie, Betty, Lola. And we can see we put six in each group. So they're each going to get six. We can see that 18 dog treats divided into three equal groups will equal six. Each dog will get six dog treats. We divided the 18 treats into three groups of six. We can draw circles to find the number of equal groups. Emma has 18 dog treats. If she gives three treats to each of some dogs, how many dogs will get a treat? So we draw 18 counters for the 18 dog treats. Okay, so we have 18 of them here. 
We know she gives three treats to each dog. So let's make groups of three. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six groups here. We circle a group of three counters until all 18 counters are in groups. There are six groups of three counters. So we know we had six groups of three counters. We can complete a bar model to show 18 dog treats divided into groups of three treats. We have 18 treats in all. That's the length of the bar. And they each got three treats. There's three in each group and we have six equal groups. So Emma is giving dog treats to six dogs. When we write a division equation, the dividend is the amount we are going to separate or split up. The divisor is the number that separates the dividend. And the quotient is the answer. The dividend is how many in all, the divisor is what we're going to split this dividend up by, and the quotient would be that amount each, or the answer. We can write a division equation to fit a given picture. Here we have a picture of some counters, and they're in three groups, aren't there? And there's four in each group. To write our division equation, we need to know how many in all. We see 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 in all. That would be our dividend. We have our division sign. Now we need the number of equal groups. We can see there's 1, 2, 3. So the number of equal groups, our divisor, is 3. It is equal to the answer, the quotient. How many are in each group? There are four in each group, so it's equal to four. Our quotient is four. Our division equation that fits this picture is 12 divided by three is equal to four. We can find the quotient for these division problems. Here we have 14 divided by two. What we can do is make two groups, two circles, and we'll go back and forth until we put 14 counters in. We draw two quick little groups, and we go back and forth, one here, one here, one here, one here, until we count up to 14. We can count how many are in each group. There's seven, so we know 14 divided by two is equal to seven. We can do the same thing for this one. We have eight divided by four, we can make four circles over here on the side. Then we can fill the circles, taking turns with a counter until we've used eight. We start by putting one each into each circle. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. We put two in each group, so we know eight divided by four is equal to two. Here we have 20 divided by four. We can make four groups off on the side and we can keep filling the circles one at a time taking turns with a counter until we've used up 20. That's four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, nine, 10, 11, and 12, then we have 13, 14, 15, and 16. We're almost there. And that would be 17, 18, 19, and 20. We can see we have our four equal groups and there's five in each group. So 20 divided by four is equal to five. We can do 10 divided by two. We can make two groups and we can draw in counters and back and forth, taking turns until we do 10. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 
divided by 2 is equal to 5. Now, did you know that this division symbol, this line with the dot on the bottom and top, it's called an obelisk? You don't hear people use that very much. They usually just say division sign or divided by. Now, looking at these division problems, these division equations, like 8 divided by 4 equals 2, can you see how if you had your multiplication tables memorized, how it would help you? If you know that 4 times 2 is equal to 8, you would have known what went in that space, what the quotient was. If you know 2 times 5 is equal to 10, you would have known a 5 went there. So it's very helpful to memorize your multiplication facts. You do math much quicker. Now here we have a word problem, and it's giving us a table. Look, we have a frequency table giving us amounts. It's about fruit, and it says the type of fruit is an apple, pear, or peach, and it says the number in each bag. There's 12 apples in each bag, there's 12 pears in each bag, and there's 8 peaches in each bag. The word problem says Bob bought one bag of apples to share equally with his sister. Dave bought one bag of pears to share equally with his two sisters. How much more fruit will Bob and his sister each get than Dave and his two sisters? So first, what we need to do is find how much Bob and his sister will get when they share the bag of apples equally. There's 12 apples in a bag, and Bob and his sister are two people. So it's going to be divided by two. 12 divided into two equal parts is six. So Bob and his sister would each get six apples. Dave and his two sisters have one bag of pears. And there's also 12 in the bag of pears. So we have 12 divided into three groups because Dave plus two sisters, that's three people. So we have 12 divided by three. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 pairs each. We need to know how much more fruit will Bob and his sister each get than Dave and his two sisters. We see Bob gets 6, so we're going to write a subtraction sentence to find the difference between the 6 and the 4. Some of you can do this in your head. So we've got 6 and 4. That means that Bob and his sister are each going to get two more fruit than Dave and his two sisters. We had to use a division problem, another division problem, and subtraction to solve this problem. Now, looking at this table and knowing what was in the word problem, do you see the little B is saying, do you see the unnecessary information in the table? Do you see some information we didn't need? It was unneeded, unnecessary? Well, if you said about the peaches, you're right. It didn't say anything about peaches, did it? It was just there in the table. We didn't need it. It was unnecessary. So we can use bar models or counters and make equal groups to do a division problem. Remember, a division problem can be written as a number sentence like we've got down here. Or it can be written like this with this curved line and the bar as the division sign. We know that the number in all is the dividend. The number that's splitting up the dividend is called the divisor, and the answer is called the quotient. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next lesson. Bye.